Hello everybody, my name is Peter Klapper, I'm from the School of Biosciences at the University of Kent in Canterbury and in this video clip I want to discuss with you how we can calculate the pH of a weak acid. Now let's start with um, what we have done so far. So we used a strong acid, let's say uh, H. Cl, hydrochloric acid, and we said this is a very strong acid, so strong acid, and it completely dissociates, and we usually represent that just by a unidirectional arrow into the proton and the anion, in this case the chloride ion. And we said to calculate the pH of this strong acid, we just simply take the negative logarithm to the basis of 10 uh, of the concentration of these protons. And because it is really a complete dissociation, we can also say that this concentration of the uh, protons here, this concentration here, is the same as our starting concentration of the acid. So we could say negative logarithm to the basis of 10 of the starting concentration of our hydrochloric acid. So I can indicate that here with a start. Now, what would happen, however, if it wasn't a strong acid? If, for example, we had something like a weak acid, um, so we add a weak acid, where we have H a, and this A could be anything, and now we have a sort of an equilibrium. And our acid again dissociates into H+, plus, the uh, protons, and the anion, which could be uh, anything, A-. minus. Now, we know that this equilibrium takes a while to kick in, uh, but once it has been established, then uh, it is sort of coming and going. Some protons might uh, grab an anion, or the other way around, and form, uh, in this case, the acid. Some acid might dissociate then back into the proton and the anion, so it's a coming and going. But at the end of the day, these concentrations of the proton and the anion and the remaining uh, acid will be fairly stable. Now, we can write this in chemical terms. We can write the dissociation constant for this, we abbreviate that with Ka, equals in the equilibrium, we have to say, the concentration of the protons, and I put a little uh, egg for equilibrium, times the concentration of the anion, also in the equilibrium, divided by the concentration of the acid that is sort of left in the equilibrium. So, what do we know about this? Well, we can actually say for each molecule of protons, these guys here, we produce the same amount of anions. But obviously we don't know how many of these protons we produce. However, we can simplify the whole thing and we can say Ka equals a certain quantity, let's call it Y protons times, it's the same number of anions because each molecule of acid dissociates into one proton and one anion 
And now what have we got? If, let's say, for example, we start with two molecules of the uh, acid and one molecule of that dissociates, we only have one molecule left. But the number of left molecules is basically what we started with minus the concentration of the protons or the anions. So we can write, basically, is the starting concentration of the acid minus how much protons we've generated. So why? And we can simplify that a little bit. We can say this is y squared divided by the concentration of the acid at the beginning minus y. Okay. So, let me write this down here again, because that's quite important. We have Ka equals y squared divided by the starting concentration of the acid start minus y. Now, we know that uh, our what we are looking for, for pH, when we want to calculate pH, we need the proton concentration. That is what the pH is all about. Yeah? So, proton concentration and from that then the negative log. So, we need to find out the proton concentration, or in other words, we need to solve this equation here for y. So, what is y? Now, this looks like pretty much uh, a quadratic equation. We have y squared, we've got a term with y to the power of 1, and we have something without y. And obviously, we could use a quadratic equation, but there is a sort of a shortcut that I want to show you. Now, this shortcut assumes that y, this y here, is very small. And if it is a weak acid, then y should be quite small. So, y is small. Only a little bit of the acid will dissociate. So, our proton concentration is supposed to be very small. And therefore, if we have a high enough starting concentration of the acid, only a little bit will dissociate. And we, therefore, we can write this is pretty much like uh, our, our starting concentration. I should write start here. So, we can say concentration of HA at the start minus this y, minus what has dissociated, is very close to h a start. Not exactly, because a little bit will have dissociated, but, you know, we are not too worried about that. So, we can simplify this uh, equation, and we can say equals y squared divided by h, by our starting concentration of the acid. I probably should say roughly, but, uh, you know, for the time being, uh, we are quite happy with that. Now, what can we do with that? Obviously, we can uh, solve this equation for y squared, and that's uh, fairly easy. So, we get uh, y squared equals Ka times our acid concentration at the very beginning, which we usually know. So, let's start. Okay, let me uh, write this again on a, a new page. So we said it is y square equals Ka times our acid concentration. And now all we need to do is solve this for, um, uh, for y. But before we do that, we do a little bit of a trick. We take both sides logarithm of 10. So, we have log of y squared equals log of 
Ka times Ha, our asset. That's the start. Like that. And I can simplify that a little bit. I can write this as 2 times log y equals log ka plus log of our acid concentration. That's simply the, um, the rules of logarithm. And now I do another dirty little trick. I multiply the whole thing, both sides of the equation, by minus 1. What do I get? I get minus 2 log y equals minus log ka minus log of the acid. Okay? Now, what does that do for us? I can write this in a slightly different form. I can write this as 2 times minus log y. And remember, this log y, that was, or this y, was our proton concentration. Equals, instead of minus log ka, I can write pka. Because that was the definition of pka. It's the negative log of ka. And that is still here minus log of the acid. Now, minus log y, minus log of the proton concentration, that is exactly our pH. So now we can really write 2 times pH equals pKa minus the log of the acid at the beginning starting concentration, which we usually know. And if I want to get a pH, I divide both sides by 2, and I get pH equals 1 half of pKa minus log of the acid concentration. And I think that is a very, very important equation for a weak acid, which I think you should learn. Now, uh, what does, uh, does this say, actually? Well, we can calculate the pH very easily. If we've got a pKa and the starting concentration of the acid, so let's say we have um, acetic acid, Acetic acid. This is um, a 0 0.1 molar acetic acid. And we want with a pKa, the pKa, we can look that up, equals 4.75. And um, we want to know what is the pH. What is the pH of this acetic acid? Now, we, all we need to do is we need to put in the numbers into our equation. So pH equals one half of pKa, so that's 4.75, minus log of and our acid concentration, that is, uh, that is 0 0.1 here. So, log of 0 0.1, and this gives us, oh, I need to write this back on another page. So, we have pH equals 1 half, 4.75 minus log of 0 0.1. Please note that the log never has a unit, so we can do that. Log of 0 0.1, that gives us minus 1. So we have pH equals half of 4.75 
minus minus 1, negative 1. So that gives us minus times minus is plus, so that gives us 5.75. So our pH equals half of 5.75, and that gives us 2. Point, uh, Two point eight seven five, so roughly two point eight eight. So that is our pH of this weak acid of this weak acetic acid. Now, how do you know whether something is a weak acid or a strong acid? And the general rule for that is that for a weak acid. you usually have been given a pKa. For a strong acid, usually you don't have a pKa given, because you assume that everything dissociates. So I hope this makes sense, and it shows you how you can actually calculate the pH of a weak acid quite easily. Thank you for watching.